Okay, so this tip is all around movement versus exercise. We cover exercise in a bit more detail at some other point in the future, but let's just talk about movement to start off with. When we want to go from A to B, when we want to do the things that we want to do, we have to move. And if you've got persistent chronic or recurrent pain, movement can be something that people dread, and especially if you've got an acute exacerbation of your symptoms. So my tip for today is this. If you've managed to get yourself really comfy, that's supposing you've managed to get yourself comfortable, you're lying down, and you know you need to get up, say for a call of nature or something similar, rather than dwell on the big movement that you're going to need to have to do, Draw your attention to an area of yourself that, where you don't usually get very much pain. So let's say you get pain in your back. It wouldn't be your back that we'd be talking about if you get uh, pain in your limbs, your arms, your upper limbs or lower limbs. So whichever part of you that you get the most severe pain, put that to one side in your brain and begin to start to draw your attention to a part of yourself where you don't usually get many symptoms. So it might be your jaw, it might be your jaw, and you might just do some little tiny relaxing movements. So just uh, you know, allowing your jaw to be soft, opening and closing, a little side to side. And as you're doing those little tiny movements, just noticing how easy it is to do those movements and noticing if it can be that you can allow yourself just to relax a little if you're supported allow yourself to be supported on whatever it is that you're lying down on and begin to start to move an area of your body where you're not getting severe pain so if you get if you've got pain in your back it could be that you bring your hands up and you just begin to start to do little movements. You might be lying down, just little movements with your fingers. It might be that you just do little movements with your shoulders, little tiny, teeny micro movements. So a movement in an area that is not hurting and not a big, sharp, quick, strong movement or any, any of these sorts of things, no. Nice and gentle, so nice and gently, just little tiny movements. Little tiny movements with your fingers. Just a little bit, and notice your breathing as you do that. And as you do the movements, if you notice that you're holding your breath, allow yourself just to reduce and reduce and reduce the movement down so that it's so small but you're still keeping that breathing going at a nice relaxing rate. So there we go, tip for today, movement, if you need, you know you're comfy in bed to a relative extent or whatever, you know you need to move, don't think about moving the area where you know it hurts, you can start to think about moving something somewhere else.